Hi everyone, it's Jason from Game Fishing Ireland here. Um, just like to say thanks to everyone for all the subscriptions so far and the likes on the videos. Um, going to keep trying to add more and more fly time content to the um, channel and hopefully um, add a bit more fly fishing content, especially going into next year. Um, so really looking forward to it and um, I guess we just introduce you to our next fly tying video which is going to be my simple scud pattern. So the flying device here is a, I just call it my simple scud. It's a very simple um, scud or freshwater shrimp pattern. Um, I only use thread, seals anchor strip and UV resin. So literally only needs three, three, three materials and um, big advantage if, if, if you're able to use it, you may not be able to use it in every country, is, is the effect of this translucent uh, leg effect on these um, shrimp and scud patterns um, from the seal. Um, you can see there, turn it upside down again you see, and then obviously you, you've got a nice mottled back on this one without doing anything. You could add marker, you get nice segmented effect along the back. There's actually no ribbing used, we don't need to. So um, so simple yet so realistic, so effective. Um, as I said, this is an unweighted version um, for locks, but you could um, tie it on a, on a similar gammarous hook and add some lead underbody for rivers or fast currents. So let's get to how to tie one of these. So the hooking device is an RX gammarous size 10. I'm just going to use some 12 ohm uh, nano silk for this. Nano silk's very strong, so um, it's also very thin and hard to see. And against this light, but it should be okay. I'm just going to bring it down around here and trim off that waste end. And I'm just going to try and bring the tread right the ways down here. as far as we can um, this dress is kind of slippy so I waxed a, a piece of it just to try and stop it from slipping too much I'm just going to take a strip of seals anchor now I need a fairly long strip for this now I'll catch it in first um, so I'm really pressing pride hard on that that nano silk there just to get as, as flat as I can. I'm stretching the seal and hey presto. That's not looking too bad. Now you have a choice at this stage. I'm going to keep the fly as simple as possible. So you could dub on a body of um I normally use SLF prism and you could dub on a body and have a hot spot in the middle like an orange or pink hot spot. Um just for the sake of keeping this fly as simple as possible, I'm just going to build up a little tread base right the ways up. I'm just going to stop a little bit back behind the eye. I can always move the tread forward, but I just want to give myself a bit of space for catching off the seal. So, depending on how your seal works, sometimes you it'll turn it clockwise, sometimes anti-clockwise. It just depends on when you tie it in, how it looks like to you. So this is a sort of a, a brown, the grey strip and I'm just wrapping it up in touch and touching turns and it gives me a sort of a striped effect just keep it going just keep nice pressure keep the keep the turns touching and as I say you get to about here um, you can just bring the tread around now place the best I can this is probably the trickiest part of the fly here it's catching in this seal at the end with this silk so I'm gonna get a good few tight turns behind and a couple in front. I'm gonna get my seal and I'm going to trim it off as tight as I can manage without cutting the thread of course. And we'll finish. Yeah, 
give it a few turns there because let's see let's get I need to trim that off like so any fibers that are sticking out over the eye you can try and get them you could always singe them with a lighter if you want to be very precise kind of happy enough at that and I'm going to just trim all the four off of the back and sides so all these long fibers here just going to trim them all off and along the sides as well just get this side now So you can see your your shrimp legs here are quite realistic. So they are. So I'm not going to be using this fly in a river. I'm going to be using it in shallow water. So I'm not adding any lead wire because um, I don't want it to sink down very quickly. If you are using pattern like this in a river or in a current if it's for salt water then um, you can add a lead underbody so again you could color the back here with a permanent marker um, I'm just going to again just keep the fly simple if you wanted a bit more gray or brown just color it with some permanent marker and let it set for a few seconds and then coat it with your resin so come in with your, your UV resin just come along the back I like to try and get it towards each side. <clears throat> get your torch, set your resin, like so. These cameras hooks they have the right shape to them anyway, so. Um, you don't have to worry about too much about building up a shape underneath or anything. So I'm just checking the legs again, make sure that there's nothing sticking out on the sides. And I'm going to get a thinner resin, which um, is going to just fill any gaps that might be in that resin. And I'll be able to just run along the sides a little bit more. But you've got to be careful. Well, this particular one is quite watery, so... to apply it fairly sparingly again just not right you can use a needle I think we're about spot on looking at this now get my torch just set that Set that coat of lighter resin. So it's as simple as it gets. Literally, some tread, some seals on for strip, and um, some UV resin. And there's your. Let me see if I can bring that a bit closer for you. There's your um, there's your back and there's your legs. If you want, you can you know, build up the resin a bit more on the back. And just see, just if you want to have more of a, a hump on the back here. It's up to you the way you want to, to build it up. Just give it an extra an extra little coat there. Let's look a little bit nicer this time. Most of the time, two coats is enough, but occasionally you need to just give it that extra, that extra coat just to keep that nice curved shape on the back, like so. Okay. 